Erica from Ever Educating, and this channel is teaching tips, tools, ideas, and resources for the new college instructor. And this week's theme is teaching writing. So if you want more information about how each video this month has a theme, you can find that described below. But today, again, you know, on Tuesday, we had five websites to use when teaching writing. Today, we're having three activities to assign when teaching writing. So this isn't just for those who are composition instructors. I think it could be helpful for any course that you do. It will just need some tweaking depending on your situation. And so the first one that I recommend is what I call, in my case, the writer autobiography or the reader autobiography, depending on the course I'm teaching, writing or literature. But basically, in the first two weeks of the semester, I have my students answer one question in a one to two page double spaced narrative. And that's in case of my writing courses, how has your writing history influenced who you are as a person and as a student? And in my literature courses, how has your reading history and your reading experiences influenced who you are as a person and as a student? And so in this case, I can start getting to know my students on a personal level, on a one-on-one -on -one level. And I'm amazed always by what some students are willing to share with me, really personal things about their life in connection to their language use, their writing, and their reading. So in your case, obviously you have to tweak this to be relevant to your course. But for example, if you're teaching sociology, you might ask, you know, how have I, you know, ideals about beauty or about race or about, you know, gender, et cetera, influence how you see yourself in, you know, today's society. So this gives them a way of practicing your writing in a really, you know, friendly way. It's not research, there's no citations, it's just a narrative. Tell me about yourself in relation to this question. So you can get a sense of their writing skills really by week two. Another activity I highly recommend is doing some type of paper outline with your students. So you can show them how to outline and then have them do an outline for an activity for your class. And so in my case, I actually have a video that I'll link below about the paper outline structure I really like giving to my students. So in my literature courses, they have to give me their thesis and then five topic sentences, right? Or six topic sentences or four to eight, depending on how long the paper is that they're going to be doing. But basically, in my case, I like the outline structure of thesis, topic, sentences, because that ensures that they are on the right track, that they're supporting the thesis, right, and they have a sense, a good sense, of what a topic sentence is. Now, of course, in your case, you might have a very different outline structure because of what you teach, but I do recommend having and taking the time to say, hey, you're going to want to outline your papers. Here's some different structures you can use. Here's what I recommend. Let's practice this and you know, collect them and give them some feedback on their outlines. And then also to help, you know, when you have, you know, the outline can help with, okay, making sure students know how to structure their papers. You also wanna make sure that they can do and have good citations, good research in their writing. And so in that case, I recommend the annotated bibliography. So you can assign your students, okay, I want you to find three to five, or maybe more, sources tied to your topic in your assignment. And then you're gonna create an annotated bibliography. And again, what does that mean, right? Show them a mentor text, right? Go through it with them and then assign them to create one on their own. Depending on if you're teaching freshmen versus seniors, I would say, you know, how many sources you have for freshmen, I would do three, right? Because that's maybe what's required in my paper. So I have, okay, find your three resources, your three, and then cite them, create the citations in MLA. And then here's what you're gonna have in your annotation. You're gonna have these pieces of information and then you're gonna submit that to me so I can make sure that you're really understanding these sources, understanding how to create citations, right? And it's going to be a helpful skill to have in any college course that you, you take in the future, okay? So in these ways, you're kind of like building off. First, get to know them. Get to know their writing, right? Are they good at, you know, having complete sentences? Their punctuation, right? Their verb sub subject agreement. Is that all working out? You can find out with the autobiography. And the outline, that's helping them with structuring their, their writing. And then with the anti-bib, let's make sure that they can have good citations in their writing because that's going to be key as well. So these are three ideas. Again, the assignment sheets can be found in the course below. If you have any questions, let me know, and I hope this is helpful to you.